Happy Monday, everyone, and welcome to Make It Happen Monday. This is Kimberly Beer. So we're back in Facebook land this morning. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about Facebook, your business, and messaging. Um, Facebook is becoming more and more of a prominent place for your customers to get a hold of you. And um, it's a place you need to check because if you don't, there's some times that you can get yourself into a little bit of trouble. And I am uh, particularly, I am, I am poor sometimes at checking my Facebook pages. I have a bunch of them, so I tend not to check here for messages. And that's problematic. So first of all, you need to get it on your radar. You need to, to check on your Facebook page every day to see if there are messages. And and then there are some things that you can do to help improve this experience for both yourself and your customers. And so that's our Make It Happen Monday today, is to get familiar with the messaging part of your Facebook page, and then also do some things like set up an automatic response and some standard replies to make this go just a little bit quicker, and also a couple of settings that you can change that will make your life a little bit easier. Facebook is becoming a more and more prominent place for your customers to get in touch with you, and it also is somewhere where they expect you to respond back really quickly. <clears throat> and Facebook um, gives you a ranking on that, and uh, I'm sorry to say, but the one on my photography page is not exactly great. It's a 20, it's a two day um, response time, which we have got to do a lot better at getting back to people on Facebook. Again, if you're not used to checking it, it can be kind of difficult to keep your response time up. And if you're not really big into hanging out on, on um, Facebook, sometimes that becomes difficult to remember to, to get in here. So there's, there's places you can turn settings on. I happen to have my notifications turned off because uh, I have so many pages. My phone is just a constant flux. Of, of messages from Facebook. I mean, the, the push messaging does not work for me. <clears throat> and if you have a, a, a lot of Facebook pages that you manage, um, it probably isn't gonna work for you either. So put it on your calendar to come here and check. All right, let's dive in. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. So the messages are located here under messages, which is right underneath your pages. So you can go there and then these are the messages that folks have left you. The ones in bold are obviously the ones that have not been read, um, so on and so forth. So, and you do have, I do want you to note down here in the lower left hand corner, you can see this away button. So if you're gonna be away for a period of time, you can click the away and that'll set you as a way for 12 hours. So if someone messages you during that period of time, they're gonna get a reply that says that you're away and that you can't respond back. So that helps with your reply, um, your replies on Facebook and that, that keeping up to date messaging thing. The other thing I want you to notice is over here on the right hand side is this little choose a saved reply. And this is really handy. So I'm I'm replying here, and I did reply to this lady. I just did it over the phone instead of on Facebook. And that's another thing that you have to be careful with, is because if you don't reply back on Facebook, Facebook doesn't know that you actually took care of it. So it's always a good idea to reply back, um, and then tell folks that um, um, that you will be. Uh, be back in touch with them on the phone or however you want to communicate with them. All right, so you have a couple of saved replies that they have put in here that are pretty easy. Here is, here's one that definitely would work. Thanks for getting in touch. How can I help you? In this case, she has told me how she can help me. So you can create your own saved replies and that will save you a great deal of time. If you have a really active messaging page, on your um, Facebook page, this would really help you be able to keep that going. So you can create them, you can manage your replies, you can sort them out. If you have somebody answering emails, I mean, sorry, answering Facebook messages for you, then, then they would want, you would wanna be able to give them access to something like this to really help with the responses. You can spell check them, 
they're easy to do. So it, it just makes your life simpler. So there's two places that you probably need to look at right away. Over here to the left, the away section, and then over here to the right, the little thing that looks like a quote box, that's where the saved replies are at. The rest of the settings for this particular page, and, and also look over here to the right, these this by this grayed out area is per conversation. So you can apply labels to the conversation, you can apply notes that only admins can see. So if you're using this for customer service, you can use it um, pretty effectively if there's more than one admin answering the messages on your Facebook page. All right, then up here under settings, um, when you click on settings, if you go right under general, there's messaging and you can click on messaging. And here is where you can set up a couple of different things that can really be beneficial to you. Um, the first one is to use the return key to send messages. So a while back, if you didn't don't remember this, one of the things that probably made Messenger super annoying was the fact that when you would hit return, it didn't make a paragraph, but it sent that part of your message. And uh, that was a little obnoxious and a little hard to get used to because you had to do shift return if you wanted to make paragraphs. So they've given you the option to turn that on or off. So in this case, it is off. The response assistant, um, you need to keep up to date in order to, um, to, to keep the response time pretty up to, up to par. Um, so uh, there's a couple of things that are going to let you be able to do that. This one is send instant replies to anyone who messages your page. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. So I'm going I'm to change this message here. We'll get back to you soon. Um, if you need something immediately, please feel free to call our toll-free number. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and save that so that in case somebody does need to get in touch with me and they've messaged me on Facebook, again, this is an increasingly popular way for people to get in touch with a business. Now they have my phone number. And so if they're feeling frustrated, which I hope they're not, or if it's um, someone particularly who's, who's looking for me to hire me for business or something like that, whew, there they go, they can get, um, they can get information uh, right away and they have my phone number so that if it is something immediate, they can get directly in touch with me as soon as possible. All right, and then show a messenger greeting. This is kind of cool. It, it's a greeting that people would see when they open up the Facebook page. So if, or open up a Facebook message with you. So if you are using Messenger and you're finding that, that a lot of people are are responding to you via messenger this would be a great way for you to be able to say hey we're really you know on the ball with our Facebook messenger I wouldn't use those terms but and someone will be back with you immediately or if you find that you don't get many messages on Facebook messenger and you're concerned about this this would be a great place to say you know our Facebook page is is part of our business but our customer service channel is you know and and be able to point people to the direction that you want them to go to to get the response that's needed. So it's one step further than an automatic response in being able to let people know how to get in touch with you. Or heck, you never know. Thank you for getting in touch with us. Here's a coupon. Um, so there's, there's three different ways here that you can help um, keep your messaging and your customers happy using the messenger um, messenger app inside of Facebook. So my goal for you this week is to get into your Facebook page and get familiar with this and get in the habit of looking at messenger and and responding quickly and also set up that automatic response. Um, or the away section, something that will help you be able to keep your response rate a little bit better and keep customers really happy. I will tell you that the level of critical for this depends upon your target market. If your target market is, is over 50, 
they're probably not even going to think about Facebook as a mode to get in touch with you. It may or may not happen. Um, if you are working with younger folks, somebody between, you know, teenage age and, and 30, Facebook is probably, I would say at the top of their list as a way to get a hold of you. So if your target market is in that group, this is very important. In the middle age ranges, it kind of just depends um, on who and, and how much Facebook usage that they have. But it is a definite valid way for clients to get in touch with you these days. Facebook is pushing hard for it to be more of where we spend more time on Facebook. And so the more that they can keep um, their customers on Facebook, the happier they are. And so consequently, they are, are encouraging people to reach out to businesses via Facebook. That's part of, of you being on Facebook. But for those of us who own businesses, it's yet another place that we have to be really cognizant of checking every single day um, or a couple of times a day, depending on how much your clients use it, to make sure that we are responsive. So have fun with Messenger, and uh, I'll be seeing you next Monday. Thanks so much.